Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another video. So, I wanted to talk to you guys. So, yesterday I did not upload, and it's not because I didn't have a video to upload. I actually was recording one yesterday. Could have made another video, but I ended up being busy the whole day uh, because I got hacked. Uh, so, it wasn't a regular hacking. The person who tried to take my stuff was not someone who was looking for my YouTube channel or my Twitter account or any social media. They wanted to take money and as much money as they could for me and they did take actually a decent chunk of money from me. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that and figure, you know what, if I, I'm going to be dealing with this, I might as well make a video out of this and talk to you guys about it because it's interesting and also a, a kind of a good way to warn you guys in case some of you guys get affected by this, what you should do and uh, more specifically uh, how to prevent this from happening to you guys so let's start off by this all of you guys should make sure that you have some sort of verbal passcode tied to your phone number so it doesn't matter which company you're with whether that be t-mobile verizon or whoever make sure you have some sort of verbal code that you tell the person on the phone or anywhere really it could be talking to them in a chat or something like a like a customer service chat or whatever make sure you have a code set up because if you do not have one set up someone can call in and do what they did to me uh, and basically they can change the phone number from your phone to their clone phone and then you won't be getting any internet any text messages any phone calls it's all gonna go straight to him as if he's the one who owns your phone number so that's actually what happened to me i was at work and as i was working i took a break and when i was taking my break i got on my phone because normally i put it in airplane mode when i'm not working or when i am working and when i'm not working i go ahead and turn on the internet again and when i was turning it on i noticed that my signal was not working i was like well that's strange you know maybe it's an old building maybe just the signal isn't making it through it's whatever. So I finished up my break. I put my phone back in my locker, finished off my shift. And then when I got home, I was like, yo, still not getting a signal. Maybe my SIM card is broken. Something's going on. So I got home and I got the Wi-Fi from my house. And immediately I started getting a whole bunch of emails saying that the password for my email was changed, that the password for my PayPal was changed. And, uh, and so immediately I was like, I know what's going on someone got into or called my phone company and they told them that they were that i but uh, they were saying that i was swapping a phone and so all of my calls and all my text messages and everything was making its way over to them now here's the thing okay i told you right at the beginning i said make sure you have a verbal code that you tell that person on the line to make sure that if there are changes like them trying to swap out the sim card that they aren't able to do anything in fact i had today i'm still trying i'm still dealing with this today where i'm actually calling up my credit card companies and trying to get that sorted out make sure i preemptively secure that stuff and i actually didn't know my own safe word for one of them and so they shut it down and they made they're sending me paperwork now to prove that it's me so this whole big thing but that I was upset and I was annoyed because I was trying to get that taken care of. But at the end of the day, I would have preferred that happening with my phone than them just handing over information to people. So I'd rather deal with the annoyingness, knowing that I'm much safer that way than not. And then this guy, I don't know how, because I did have a passcode, a verbal code that I would tell the other person on the line uh, for my phone provider. And even though I had it, and even though I, I used it when I was talking to them to switch out my SIM card and I was talking to them after the fact saying, hey guys, my SIM card was changed and they were like, oh, that wasn't you? And I was like, yeah, like how the hell does this happen where I have a passcode, a verbal passcode, that person clearly didn't know it, but somehow they acted their way into whoever was on the other line with them to give them and swap out the SIM card. So I was very upset. And I don't know, maybe I'll take some legal action. I have a friend who maybe I'll talk to about that because that's ridiculous that they did that. And it caused a whole chain of events that I'm going to talk to you guys about that. But anyway, so I was actually at that point uh, freaking out. You know, I was able to lock him out of PayPal. I swapped out. I removed my phone number from PayPal. I swapped out the, um, the password, made it something completely crazy that no one would find out, even me, like me. Probably I wouldn't be able to put in my own password anymore. But, you know, something crazy he wouldn't have access to. He tried to charge himself some Lyft charges. Like, I guess maybe he was buying, like, a $25 Lyft, like, gift card or something. I don't know if those are things, uh, honestly. But, uh, charge to Lyft. Immediately got in contact with PayPal. They restricted the account until I proved that it was me and it was only me who had access. And then from there, I was like, okay, it's cool. Uh, you know, I had it unlinked my phone number from a whole bunch of different stuff, a whole bunch of different websites just to be safe. 
And so I was like, okay, for now, I play the waiting game to see what happens next. So I started recording, actually, another episode of my uh, Blair Witch Let's Play that I have been doing here on the channel, which I'll have another episode up soon. I'm sorry, it's been so long. I've just I've been dealing with this, and I was going to make an episode yesterday. But anyways, I was recording yesterday, and uh, towards the end of that recording, and I'll actually show the last bit so you guys can see, I got more notifications on my phone. And remember, at this point, I don't have text message, I don't have phone line, nothing on my phone, until I was able to get to my phone provider to make sure that uh, that line was suspended, and then I got that line or that SIM card back on my phone. So at this point, I have no signal, no nothing. So anyways, after this, I'm recording. I looked out on my phone, and I'm like, holy crap, this is bad. I got emails saying that my bank account was linked to an Apple Pay account, that they had sent a travel notification, basically saying that I was going to Florida and that I wanted to use my uh, debit cards and my uh, bank credit card in Florida. And at that point, I was like, holy crap, this guy's going next level. So I immediately ended the video and uh, I'll put that here for you guys to see my reaction. It honestly wasn't even that crazy. It was more like a slow realization of what was going on and then me ending the video so i'll put that here so you guys can see it's clean shot all the way through uh boys i need to uh stop the video now uh I so anyways after that happened i ended up getting in contact with my bank and uh i found out that I needed to swap out, close out accounts, and open new ones, have stuff transferred over. It was this whole big process. But basically, the guy got into my account, he quick paid himself, and I'm assuming he did it because my phone was associated with my bank account. He just used the app, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, either way, I'm a little fuzzy on those details. But anyways, he had access to my bank account, and he was able to pay, quick pay himself all the money I had on my account, uh, and then after that, he uh, tried to set up the whole travel notification. He was trying to use the cards even more on his Apple Pay. Uh, they're investigating that, so hopefully I get that money back. Fingers crossed I get my money back. Uh, because technically I have no access to any money right now, which is actually kind of crazy, but it's cool. You know, it's not like I'm going to die or anything. Uh, <laughs> hopefully my card's good. I, I got new cards and everything. Uh, but uh, anyway, so we closed the account out. I went to my bank, uh, to my actual bank. Uh, we got it all figured out. They closed the account. We opened up a new one, which, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to sort the pieces here, and it'll be a few days. Hopefully, I get my money back. I have to go back to the bank and take care of a few other things. But, you know, it's more annoying than anything. I don't have any money right now, um, and uh, once I get it back, hopefully, it'll all be set up and good. But now I have to go check up all of my auto pay stuff and all of my bills and stuff and make sure it's linked to the right thing. And it's just, it's more annoying than anything. Uh, because I know or I'm hoping I'm going to get my money back. Some people are saying that sometimes you don't get it back, but I'm really hoping I get it back. Um, and, uh, you know, more than anything, it's just annoying. I tried to stay positive. I was, uh, uh, you know, trying to hope for the best. I'm still having a little bit of bad luck here, but, you know, things could be worse. I could be, you know, horribly sick. I could be dead. You know, uh, you know there's so many things that, you, that I'm grateful for in my life and, and so many things that go are going on in my life and in my particular situation where this sucks. But it wouldn't be enough to ruin me. Um, so it's just more than anything annoying and inconvenient. But anyways, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about this because, uh, you know, if you guys are someone who has a lot of stuff connected with phone numbers, I I'm even to the point where I don't even know if I want to have two-step verification with phone numbers anymore. I'd rather go with like a authenticator app or, you know, something else, security questions, get those verbal passwords that you tell people going. Like you want to be safe. Especially with your phone. Be super safe with that guy because that's what they're doing. They're sim swapping and they're getting people. And I want to warn you guys about that as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video guys. It's super appreciated. Incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a lot more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, and, uh, you know, Fortnite and stuff like that coming. So make sure you guys are subbed up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter. At OGXRays. Best place to talk. Constantly talking over there. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.